How to Lose Weight, Part 2. So in Part 1, we discussed how during the day, your, you know, the amount, number of calories you're burning and the number of calories you're consuming, uh, well, you need to burn more calories than you're consuming. Um, and your body's designed to, to, uh, to not appreciate that. <laughs> your body's built to gain weight, not to lose weight. So you're going against uh, the nature of your body when when you uh, when you <clears throat> when you're consuming less calories than than you're than you're burning. Um, you know your body's you know is made to survive, and so it's real easy to gain weight, and um, it's it's uh, complex and challenging to lose weight. Um, so what I wanted to talk about here in regard to part two is my three main things in regard to how to, uh, you know, eat more calories than, than you're burning. Um, and and it, it, it ties to your habits, uh, your mind, and then um, the third point, which is the least important, but um, is, is, does play a role because it helps facilitate all these other things is, is exercise. Um, and then I was writing down here that you have to change whatever you're doing right now, you have to change it every six weeks. You, you need to continuously, um, change because your body will adapt to whatever you're doing and whatever healthy benefits you have today, six weeks from now, your body's going to adjust to it and it's not going to work anymore. Uh, so you got to make sure you're always kind of changing it, uh, changing it up, uh, around six weeks. Um, now in regard to habits, What's important here is is what not to do versus what what uh, is good. So you know, a lot of people are always saying, you know, it's good to eat healthy. It's good to you know, blah 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 blah. But what's most important is is the not to do the bad things. So you know, unfortunately, you know, eating shit um, like uh, candy, uh, so you know, soda, Coca Cola, you know, all the all the foods that you find in Safeway and the major, um, you know, uh, liquor stores and whatnot, um, you're going to just simply gain weight from those things. So, so if you, um, you know, so if you love those things, then don't worry about it. Don't, don't try to lose weight because, because, um, because those things are just made to have you gain weight. And if you really want to lose weight, you got to somehow figure out how to avoid those things. So that kind of uh, segues to my second point is your mind. You want to trick your brain and to thinking that it's picking out, thinking that it's um, eating a lot, when in reality it's not. Um, and so I have a lot of um, formulas that I do for myself to trick my brain into thinking that I'm picking out, when in reality I'm just eating a bunch of potentially low-calorie foods, or I'm doing something that that uh, is, doesn't have that many calories, but um, psychologically, I you know, I'm picking out. Um, you know, make a bag of popcorn. Popcorn has very low calories, you know, as long as you're not adding the butter, you know, you could add oil, you can add salt, um, you maybe even add a little peanut butter, um, but, but the, yeah, butter is just pure, it's, you know, um, and so uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta have healthy habits, you know, I think a lot of the things that you do as a child, you know, eating lots of ice cream and candy, you know, as an adult, you just can't afford to do those anymore, you gotta trick your mind, and then ultimately, you know, you got to do a little bit of exercise. So I always recommend, you know, walking, um, lifting some weights, um, stretching, I mean, all those things you can do for the rest of your life and, and are, you know, you're not going to have to worry about injury. Um, I used to do triathlons and there I've, you know, I've, I've hurt myself in, in numerous ways. And so now I, um, you know, I like to get back into triathlons, but the, the big issue is swimming and having access to a swimming pool. And with a pandemic, I haven't had that. So no, no triathlons for me. Um, and in regard to the six week thing, it, it's also um, an exercise in self-discipline. Because when you have when you have specific habits and everything that you're doing, um, you know, you need to change that up and that requires a lot of self-discipline. So any, anything that helps you with self-discipline, exercises and self-discipline, such as fasting, uh, you know, just changing what you eat, um, you know, like a lot of things that people normally have for dinner, I'll have them for breakfast because there are a lot of great calories for, for giving you energy. 
Uh, so you can, you know, you can kind of afford to have a lot of calories in the morning because you're going to be burning that off. But anything you have in the evening is just going to go straight to, to the waistline. So I have, I try to have low calories in the evening, you know, high calories in the morning. So I have my energy, you know, because if you, if you're just eating meat and vegetables, you're not going to have any energy to get anything done. And that's the end of part two.